Good morning, my name is Badger and welcome back to Achievementville. Now, in the last video we did address some major and serious issues and we did go on a bit of a bender, like a three hour bender, and did create a pretty awesome layout over here, but there are major issues with this city that needs fixing. So, let's address those issues that we brought up in the last video. So, death care was one, wasn't it? And we need to place a another uh, churchyard down and so we're gonna make a little off-road here just so we don't put another one on the main main road just in case we need to change that and we're gonna place a cemetery next to this lovely uh, parkland so there we go that will help with this as well we're gonna turn it on three speed now the second that's seven of them so we've got seven of these in total one two three four five six seven so that once they all fill up like this one we should unlock that achievement um, so that's absolutely brilliant right the main problem and the one that you're here for is public transport now as you can see there is like no public transport whatsoever in the city and you know as we're going through a bit of a death wave this is probably the best time to uh, get that sorted and looked at so we're just gonna close oh there's another one sorry they're probably left because of the stink from the garbage not being collected. Damn. Right, okay. So, we need public transport in this area. And the first thing we need to do is to have a look and have a think. Now, this big road that goes all the way around, I think we can't just bring a train line in because that's going to really destroy the houses and everything. We need the houses for the achievements. Can't bring in a metro line either, so we're going to have to bring in the trams because... The trams can just go over the top of the road very easily. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get this big ring road and we're going to convert it into a tram network. And three speed. Oh, this is awful. I do not like this area. This area is really bad. I don't want to destroy the houses, so we are going to do that along here. And there we go, I think we have our ring road now. So yes, there we go, we have our purple tram ring road, apart from this bit. Oh dear, is it going to, is it just going to let me go? Yes! Oh, get in! Result. Now, if we just upgrade that to a tram road, that would be okay. So it's possible. It's still possible. Yes, there we go. There you go. Tram road is in. Can we make it tram only? Because then we won't have cars going down there. Yes, we can. Awesome. Right, cool. I just want to make sure that that hasn't messed up any connections, junction-wise. So we're just going to go around and make sure things like that aren't on there. Right, three speed. Nope, nope, definitely not. There's not enough volume of traffic. And this is going to uh, allow our city to flow faster and more effectively. See that the roundabout's already cleared up. Ish. I mean, we have cut the road down, but nevertheless, we are here for the public transport. So we're going to put in trams first off, because that's going to be the main big bulk, and they're going to be taking the, um, what should call it, the majority of the, yeah, they're going to be taking the majority of the public transport. I think, if I remember rightly, after all my years of playing, we come out 15, down there 15 we should just be able to slot that in rather nicely there awesome Woo! that went in okay now I don't I don't like it when they just sling this far away and everything I like to make this part of it and like you know make it like the, make the city kind of feel more lived in 
So if we come down here, let's go back one so we can get a pathway in or something, and then we come all the way as, as far as we can that way. Just gonna we'll redo that at the end. So come out, we're gonna go really far away, it's like straight that way, like boom, boom. Hopefully, you can get one in there, yes. And now, if we come along here. three speed while I sort this out but you can see what we're trying to do we're trying to make like little lanes for them oh it's be so much easier if I had anarchy on okay that worked okay so they're gonna come in they're gonna go down they're gonna come out and they're all, okay, yeah so all down and three of them out or we could do that and have this is like the station bit. Oh no, wait. Yeah, and then that's the station bit. So boom, that makes more sense. They come in, and then they park up, collect people, and they go. Um, we're just gonna pop. I think we should just pop up here, like that one. And then two, cool. And now we need to put to place the trams. Here we go, this is going to be our first one. This is going to go uh, clockwise. Boom. Actually, don't really need to put one there. There's one by the station. I'm going to take one just before the junction, one just after the junction, one midway, and then one just before the corner. Actually, just after the corner. Yeah, that would do. And then another one about here. Another one just after. So what we're trying to do, I do want to pull that back a little bit. <coughs> what we're trying to do is make people choose the trams and make more people want to come to the city. So if we have a tram network where we can, but they can literally go around very fast at lightning speeds then that'll be much better. And you can also hear the houses being upgraded, which is a great um, bonus, because that means we don't have to put so many like things down. And that means more people live in this area, which means more people are gonna go and work. You definitely need to drop, like, drop one by the school, so they can all go to school. And get do one here. Uh, yeah, one about there. Fair, and then it's going to pull back into the station and complete the line. Okay. Ah, uh, it is going to cause a bit of a backlog when you first do this. So, I kind of want to leave a gap between doing both lines at the same time. Three speed! Oh, it's three speed. Okay, I think that's going to be the last tram going out, so now we need to come out of this mode. I'm going to go back into trams, and we're going to select... Mm -hmm. This one. Okay, so we're going to put in the anti-clockwise direction, and now it's slightly different with buses and trams, is that trams you do want to line up together. So we're going to start the anti-clockwise one here at the station. This also brings a bit of more life into your like creation instead of it just whizzing around by itself. And whenever you see a dot, you just want to line them up. And that way that just cuts down on the minimum like stations that are in the middle. I'm not sure how I feel about this. That definitely needs to be moved back. There, or there. Oh, oops, there. It's 
should be one there, really. Yeah, they can walk. They can walk and get it. Because, you know, that means they have to use this. Hopefully. Hopefully they will. Yes, they are. And now we have another Manic Mayhem. Let's just watch this going quickly. I mean, I suppose really you want that warehouse on the opposite side, but I kind of like it like this. When it all calms down, it looks better. See, that looks nice now. Okay, so we've done that. So now, how do we get the rest? With these guys, thank you very Tune much. And dance your way through the rat race. To just gonna check on the garbage hole. So now the main question is, how do we get all these people out to this tram line so they can go round and round and round on the tram? Now that's very very easy. What's this shiny? What is this? Why is that shining white? Oh, it's a post office. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, very weird. Right, that's throwing me off my game there. Uh, right, back to business. And uh, now we need to bring out the buses. Now at this stage, it will be fairly foolish not to invest in the bio bus, seeing as we are making a lot of money. And uh, yeah, I kind of want to keep it here, and I also want to bring this road kind of in. Hmm. Let's see. Three speed! And there we go, we want to try and keep this like kind of a natural depot type thing going on. Let's have a look. How big is one of these? It's four squares long. Okay, cool. Very easy to map out. Oh, that, look, that would look good, wouldn't it? Hold on. Just playing about now, like four speed until we're ready. Hmm, sorry, I just uh, just trying to think how's the best way to present this because we kind of want it looking depot y, but not. But that over there looks perfect, but this, this is going to be a bit more of a challenge. Now we're bringing it back, we're bringing it back to, to the original plan. I kind of want them to all fold into one another. We've got our bus stops and bus depot. And we're going to try and make work. You know, we can always come back to this and make it a bit different. And, you know, just easy right now just to sling one of these down. Just how, how can we make that look just a bit more like the taxi was added later on? There you go, so the taxi has to come in, then they turn around, then they're out. Cool. See what? There you go. Perfect. Then we can put like a few buildings over here as well, why not? Let's have a little. Let's put a little store in each one of these. Maybe two over here. Just to make the area a little bit more lived in. Then we're going to put a path down the middle. Awesome. If we can. Oh. Yes! There you go. Path down the middle. That looks a bit. Yeah, we 
can, we, we can always come back to this. So, because this area is going to develop over time, this is looking like the hub. But right now, we need to fix our bus problem in this half of the city, and that will be, I think, it for a day. So, now we've got buses, these biofuel buses, we need to spread them out and get people to the tram line. So we're going to start off in this farthest corner, we're going to come up, we we'll get the right side of the road, and we're going to come up and then we're going to come down and miss a road each time. That's the top, middle, top and bottom on these ones actually, why not, there, perfect. Then, yep, going to skip a road, come up. Over. Then we're going to do the exact same thing. Top, middle, bottom. We should put pass through. We should have thought about that really before. And then we are going to skip another road. Oh, wait, point, that's a little skipping. Skip another road. Top, middle, bottom. up top middle and we're unfortunately not able to get to the bottom there then we're going to come up and we're going to come along here top middle bottom this is why grids are so boring and especially for the layout of public transport it's just too it's not much of a challenge really it's going to come up, it's going to miss one. Top and uh, middle there, I think. Yeah, why not? And then it's going to do this bit. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, right there. Is there any point in getting that top bit? I don't think so. So how would we turn this thing? How would it turn around? We could turn around here. But then again, it needs it does need to turn around. And come on its original thing. Yeah, we're gonna guide to come back through here. So these people also need it as well, I'm going along this top range, as I seem to have forgotten. And there you go, it's in. And then we're just going to come back on ourselves. Now this is the opposite to... Gee, yeah, we should, we shouldn't be doing that, we should be doing... that, so it's kind of just off where the other one is, just so it doesn't block all the traffic, so this is the opposite to trams going in now. Use the bus stop there as well. And yeah, we're going to put one on the side of here. Ah yes, so the, this is a one way street so this has got to come down and across so we'll do a, a, an M1 there. Just going to evenly spread out these bus stops. Finding the trailer breadcrumbs home. Yeah, why not put one there? Yeah, I know the line's not finished, we're doing it. Thanks. And complete. Boom, that is perfect. That's going to get that one off and done. So that's sorting out all this square, so they're able to get to the tram line now. And as you can see, 500 per week. We're going to try and get to 1,000 by the end of this episode. That is the target, and then we will clock off. Okay, so there's a university here, so we need to get make sure there's a bus stop outside here, so the guys can take uh, guys and girls can take their uh, stops to the university. Hold on, we're just gonna empty that. Okay, right, buses. Okay, so how we start? We're going to start with the roundabout point, which is going to be up here. That's going to come off. 
on its merry way. And we just want to do this section. It's going to be the campus bus, I've decided. We're going to skip a road. Yeah, we'll skip a road. And we'll come down here. Because then it's the most efficient way. Ah, uh, now we do. did say we want a stop near that campus. So there you go. They can get off and they can walk to school now. School, university. Oh, we skipped two. Oh. Uh, depends where you look at it. But yeah, that's even closer, so that's better. And then this comes down here. Awesome, we will also put a bus stop there when we get a chance to. So that's our point to point. And we just want these on opposite ends, opposite sides of the road now. So these guys, they can walk off and just walk to the next block to get the next train. And we're just going to add one there. And we're going to add one at this uh, churchyard. Whoa, you see, there is a massive death wave. Okay, we need them to all fill up though, that's the thing. This is what happens when you expand too fast. Woo. Right, okay, let's uh, just ignore the death and decay. And let's put in an industry bus route. Now we're going to come over this bridge, I think. Yeah, just get people hyped up and scooped up. They are collecting a lot of garbage. And this one's also going to be a point to point. And because this is a smaller route, let's throw in a few more stops than we would normally. So we're going to come down here first. We're going to hit all the houses upgrade. We're going to skip this one because, you know, there's not much point. Come down here. How's the bus going to get back? Dun, dun, dun. I think things have calmed down, so we might just get rid of that whole one-way system. Yeah, we're going to have a top bus that goes everywhere. Oh yeah, these guys can, those guys can get to that one by the back here, cool. And it's going to come over. It's always important to pick up things at the churchyard. And the schools, so this is going to be our turnaround point. And then we're just going to come back. Spread our bus stops out. Why is this not on three speed? Three speed. Wow, we really did a lot of bus stops. <laughs> not here. Maybe, because it's got to come out this entrance. It's very close. Yeah. Here we go, it's going to come back. We're going to clean up this bus route. Okay, we've got a real big problem, don't we? Okay, so there we go. That is the square fully plumbed in. Let's check on death care. Whoa, we've only got like one funeral like thing working. But we need to get it filled up. That's the problem. So that is where I'm going to end today. I think, yeah, just nice, short, quick episodes. So just to summarise, we want to do something nice that will transport hub like this. And in actual fact. Yeah, let's, let's bring a bit of life into this. Okay, so we can't use that one because that's a depot really need to find a good way of bringing in the depots into like the build. They've upgraded quick. Damn, we might have to uh, 
take them down and restart. Right. Anyway, we're gonna bring some life into this by making it come up here, along here, and then back. And that way, they can come here, they can go across the road, and then into the tram system as well. And vice versa. Do you think that's a thousand people per week? Ah, oh, yeah. Look at all the buses go. Let's do a let's do an express to this side of the city as well. Okay. That is not good. Yeah, so we're gonna do an express route that comes down here into the shopping centre, turns around, and then comes all the way back. Or almost a thousand people per week. Ah, oh, this death care situation. What do I do? Oh, this is another one of those harsh moments where you want to put one down, but you can't. Summarize, you can do uh, express routes that come like far and wide with very few stops that bring people to a transport hub like this. Uh, like this one over here as well that takes people into this part of the city. So everyone is hopefully, yep, look, look at that. That is tons of people. Okay, we are definitely going to have to expand upon this. And look, they can come over here and use the metro system. Not the metro system, the uh, tra tram system. And also you need local routes of little local buses to bring them to big like things like stations and tram sites and if we actually have a oh, 1100 oh we should have unlocked that tower uh, yeah look you can see very high volumes on all of them this is the biggest what is this one oh, it is that one okay so this should bring many many more water death wave okay that should bring many more people into the city so having local routes come up and drop people off at the trams that go around big main things and having express routes will clear that. Now did we get our tower of transportation or whatever it's called? We have unlocked the transportation tower, yes! And that is where we're going to leave today. Woo! Because I don't want to continue rambling and stuff and we're going to focus on death care in the next episode. Alright guys, have, have a good day, thank you for watching, and we are slowly fixing the city. I hope you enjoyed that, and remember to like, subscribe, and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode. Oh, we've still got some seconds. Why not give me some feedback in the comments below, it would be greatly appreciated, and bonus, you can find me on your favourite social media platform, links are in the description below. Until next time, have a lovely day.